What's up guys, Rich Duper Bash, and I'm out here with uh, my daughter Angie's Italian. Um, I'm at a big jump jump park. Um, uh, there are some bikes here, and it looks like they're doing some construction, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any drive time. Uh, we'll see what happens. But basically, I got my Creighton um, that I ended up just rebuilding the entire front end. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna drive this guy today or not. Um, but basically, my last bash with it, I heard some grinding, a uh, very familiar type of grinding that I had heard on Jeff's, uh, my buddy Jeff's rig, several times. And essentially, I was pretty sure it was coming from the front diff. And uh, long story short, my uh, front diff case had, had cracked. So on the, on the crown gear side here, basically the diff case, the diff case had cracked right underneath the diff cup. And so this bottom screw was basically not holding it, it had no bite on anything here um, in any case so i put in a, a new diff case unfortunately the one i bought was not the new uh, version 3 hd diff case um, and i didn't realize it at the time but anyway um, i also for the creighton i put in uh, new rpm uh, arms and i also put in uh, voltage hobbies aluminum suspension mount i replaced my Replaced my bottom suspension mount as well. I had to straighten my chassis just a little bit um, It had a little bit of a, of, a, of a bow a little bend this way and I put on a new uh, t-bone uh, Typhon basher bumper so uh, so I have yet to really drive this thing other than one quick track bash and a little bit of road running so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Try this guy uh, we so I I went ahead and put a version 2 wing on so you can see that the wing mount I'm sorry you see the wing's going to sit a little bit taller and it sits further back. I, I really don't care. Um, no other changes to the Italian. Um, still running the stock shocks and stock springs, but I am going to go ahead and try the shock waves on here. So I got a little kid here. I got to really be careful. Hey, how's it going? Well, it handles great with these wheels, guys. That's a chassis slapper. Ooh, that wasn't good. Oh, that wasn't good. That's okay. a good lesson in not taking a blind jump right there, guys. Definitely need to eyeball where you're landing. And I ended up going right into this, probably with this right front wheel. And here's the result. Basically, the lower A-arm just totally snapped. I also snapped my shock bolt. So anyway, the shock, the shock looks straight as is. Um, definitely a bummer. My drive shaft, it looks mostly straight by just eyeballing it. So anyway, I'm either gonna try and fix this real quick or I'm gonna pull out the Creighton. I don't really have a whole lot of time. But I wanna give another shout out to Vanning from the Arma Forum. What's up, brother? Um, basically, I went ahead and, this is an original Typhon wing from quite a while ago. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and uh, anyway, uh, the these, uh, these corners had pulled off and I just put a big slob of, uh, of hot glue on the top and the bottom. So it looks like it's gonna hold up great. Anyway.
Man, I got lucky I didn't go into those rocks. Oh, I almost did it again. You stupid. Oh. <laughs> For some reason, I'm having issues with my brake, guys. Seems a lot more sensitive than normal. Oh, oh man, darn it. Turns out that red uh, steering plate that goes across to each uh, steering linkage is bent pretty badly, so definitely gonna get it pulled out and put in a nice uh, thick voltage hobbies when I get home. That's it, I just got the boot, which sucks. Um, the workers are here and pretty much told me to get on when to get on. On my way home and I just spotted this little spot here, so that's what it's all about, baby. Out having fun. Oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh man, that wasn't good. Yeah, she's on the wheels. That's good. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna end it on that one. I really gotta, I gotta get out of here. This is a cool spot. I think I'm coming back. I don't know what to say, guys, but props to Arma again. You guys are just unbelievable. V3 shocks are killer. Voltage Hobbies towers are awesome. Uh, yeah, what a beast, guys. All right, that's it. Until next time. Late.